Ever wake up in the morning to find your entire account wiped out? No? It could happen tomorrow. Today I want to talk about something really important. Something that not a lot of people are talking about. Something that people don't take seriously enough. Primarily, I want to talk about counterparty risk. So first we'll talk about the people who take counterparty risk far too lightly. Because of which, they wake up one morning, log onto the accounts, and see something like this. Yeah, the exchange goes insolvent, and their funds go with it. After realization kicks in, the desperation follows, and they take to doing something like this. So, first we'll talk about why these people take these stupid gambles. And I'm sure some of you are taking these gambles too. I don't entirely blame you. There's not a lot of guidance in this space. So after we discuss them, we'll talk about you and how you can make sure you're not one of these people. And this isn't complicated to do, guys. It's actually pretty simple. Just by doing one little thing, just one thing, you can set yourself apart from the rest of these guys. You can make sure that you don't find yourself shipwrecked. But before we dive into that, let's talk about the elephant in the crypto room. Quadriga CX. Now, Quadriga is a Canadian exchange that has recently been under the spotlight of scrutiny. I used to use them myself a long time ago. Now, I'm not going to go into the details, but here are the bullet points. A few months ago, I think around November 2018, the banks suddenly froze their accounts. Customers then started having withdrawal problems. Now, not too long ago, the CEO dies. And get this, just two weeks after writing his final will. Now, millions and millions of dollars are completely inaccessible or just lost. And people have no way of getting their funds back. It's a terrible situation all in all. But guys, come on. It doesn't get any more centralized than this. The CEO dies and the entire exchange goes down? I mean, Jesus Christ. Now, I have to just say this. If you're storing all of your wealth, even if it's your crypto wealth, in a centralized exchange then you're missing the point of the space. And when pertaining to Quadriga, it looks like a lot of people miss the point by a margin. So needless to say, a lot of people lost a lot of money. Some people lost all of their money. And some traders lost all of their trading funds. And now they're forced out of the market. They're done. Kaput. I feel really bad for these people. Trust me, I do. But I couldn't help but wonder, just why? Why would you take that risk? Why would you keep all of your funds in a centralized exchange? I mean, it's not like we've not heard these sort of stories before. Mount Gox, anyone? You know, we like to complain about how so-and-so representative from Mt. Gox is dumping all this Bitcoin over the exchanges, but we don't use Mt. Gox as a reminder to protect ourselves from counterparty risk. Listen, when you give your money to anyone, to anyone, a friend, a bank, an exchange, whether you trust them or not, you are automatically assuming the risk that they may not be able to give you the money back. That's counterparty risk. I don't care how much you trust them. And you have to do all you can to reduce that risk. Cryptocurrency is risky enough, guys. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to yourself to reduce risk wherever possible. Especially when it's so easy to do. Come on. So... I talked to some of my friends, 
some of them who were victims of this Quadriga incident. And I asked them, why? Why would you just not keep your Bitcoin in your hardware wallet? And if you want it to be in cash, why not spread it around different exchanges or just get into a bank as soon as possible? The answer I got was somewhere along the lines of this. I sold into fiat so I could buy back lower. All right, that's a fair answer. I get that. You want to make more money. We all do. But guys, there's a way you can protect your BTC in your hardware wallet and still take advantage of the price drops. Are you hearing me? You can protect your BTC in your hardware wallet, keep your keys with you, and still take advantage of the price drop. And I'm going to show you guys how. It's really simple. And by the end of this video, you're going to be thinking to yourself, why the hell have I not been doing this all this time? But before we go into that, I want to say this. Like I said, everyone's talking about Quadriga this, Quadriga that. But the truth is, this could have happened to any exchange. You could be watching this video in 2025. It doesn't matter. Just replace the name Quadriga CX with just about any exchange you use right now. If your funds are in there, you are exposed to counterparty risk. Period. I don't care how much you trust them. The biggest exchanges have gone belly up overnight. And this is not just cryptocurrency, guys. Just Google it. So, how do you reduce counterparty risk that you are invariably exposed to? It's simple. The answer is actually just one word. Leverage. Now, some of you might be going, Oh my God, leverage? That's for gamblers, Sean. No, don't be dense. It's that sort of thinking that keeps you a 9 to 5 for the rest of your life. We don't want to be like that over here at Mango. We want to escape mediocrity. And to do that, we use every tool we have to our advantage. And leverage is one of those tools. We can use leverage to reduce risk. Yeah, you heard me right. Reduce risk. You don't use leverage to increase your gains in crypto. Crypto is volatile enough. You use leverage to reduce risk, specifically counterparty risk. And how do we do that? It's easy. This is what you're going to do. You're going to send only a fraction of what's in your ledger or whatever hardware wallet you decide to use to the exchange. Only a fraction to the exchange. You then take a leverage short position to match the amount of BTC or Ethereum or whatever that you have in your ledger. What you have essentially done is you've simulated a cash position against your crypto. This way, you can take advantage of the dip without risking your account to a black swan event like Mt. Gox or Quadriga CEO dying in a temple in India, apparently. All right, let's just go a quick example. Let's say you have 10 BTC sitting in your trezor. Let's assume that BTC is currently at $1,000. Now you see BTC taking a turn to the downside. You decide to sell. First, I'm going to tell you what not to do. You're not going to panic and you're not going to send your entire BTC stash to CZ Sleazy or whatever exchange you're currently using. We don't do that over here at Mango. We play it smart. So if you decide to sell to buy back lower, what you're going to do instead is this. You're going to ask yourself, how much am I okay losing in case this exchange can't pay me back? Now let's say that answer is 2 BTC. 2 BTC of your 10 BTC stash. Okay, cool. Send only 2 BTC to the exchange. Now, what you're going to do is take a 5x leverage short position with that 2 BTC. That will give you a 10 BTC short position, around $10,000 cash position, while still protecting 80% of your BTC 
in your hardware wallet. If BTC goes down, great. Your short position will let you buy you more BTC. If BTC goes up, great. Your short position will eat into your margin, but your hardware wallet's value will go up. Either way, you are balanced out. This is how you can use leverage to your advantage and reduce your risk. It doesn't have to be used the way crypto Twitter does. Don't get me wrong, you can use it to increase your profits as well, and I'll show you how to do that safely in another video. But for today, this is what you do if you have your funds sitting in an exchange. Don't send in your entire stash, send in only a fraction, leverage the rest to match the amount. Now, I know that not all exchanges allow for margin trading, so if you're looking for an easy to use exchange that offers margin trading, then check out Deribit. I've tried out the others and they are a nightmare to use. Deribit has a really sleek, easy to use interface and I'm really enjoying them. I'll put a link down at the bottom. It's an affiliate link and you'll get 10% off all your trading fees. You don't have to use it. You can go ahead and just type the link down in your browser. But if you do use it, you get 10% off your fees, just saying. And 10% off your fees means 10% less for those centralized guys. Either way, please, if your crypto is sitting in an exchange, please send most of it back to your hardware wallet. Keep your keys with you. And if you don't have a hardware wallet, why don't you? Get one. It's worth it. I'll put a link down below for that as well. It surprises me, you know. Nobody talks about this stuff. Everyone's talking about how you can make money. But like I said, we first got to learn how to keep what we have. So if you're looking to survive in this space for the long term, this is the channel you're going to want to be at. So hit that bell icon. Subscribe too. Make sure you're notified when the next video is out. Like I said, this is where you're going to learn the stuff that matters. Let's mango.